Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, October 12 to 14, 2020, and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Okay, so let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set, beginning today, Monday, until tomorrow, Tuesday, we have so many weather systems right now. These are tropical uh, cyclones and a low pressure area. But we are going to discuss first Nika, which was once a shallow LPA which traversed northern Luzon over the weekend and it rapidly intensified into a tropical depression while over the West Philippine and South China Seas areas. West Philippine and South China Seas and is now outside of the Philippine area of responsibility. So Nika is now a tropical storm with international name Nangka. It's a common uh, fruit in the Philippines known as Langka. So Nangka is now outside of power moving towards Vietnam and Hainan Island. The former Linfa, which was uh, also once a tropical storm, is just a tropical depression moving across Laos. So Nika will be the next one that will follow the path of uh, Linfa a little bit to the north. So this is not unusual during time of uh, uh, La Nina climate. That's why most of the uh, development are concentrated over the West Philippine and South China Seas west of the philippines so this is good news for us but we are keeping an eye on 94w which might become a minimal tropical depression before hitting the philippine land mass so based on the forecast models it might pass over northern Samar, Bicol region across the southern tagalog provinces within the next two to three days so that will be on uh, wednesday and thursday so we are going to observe this system. Right now it's still low chance for the next 24 hours, but on the 48 to 72 hours, it may become a tropical depression and could be named as Ophel if Pagasa upgrades it into a tropical depression. So it will be a rainy Wednesday and Thursday once again across Eastern Visayas, Southern Luzon, including the Bicol region. So tomorrow, Tuesday, we could see some hot weather, but in the afternoon and evening, the thunderstorms are back because of this low pressure area. Let's hope and pray it won't develop into a tropical depression, but most of the models intensify it once it moves into the West Philippine Sea, just like Linfa and Nika. So it's so uh, bad for the areas of Vietnam because they will be preparing for another system, which is 94W. Meanwhile, Chan Hong is just a remnant low. It won't enter power and it will just die down due to unfavorable atmospheric conditions over that area. So you can see the monsoon trough bringing some thunderstorms, cloudy conditions across Luzon, Bicol region, eastern Visayas, and the southwest monsoon being enhanced by Nika, uh, affecting uh, western sections of Luzon, including Metro Manila, western coastal areas of Palawan, and Mindoro. So far, uh, this is just one of the last blow of the Habagat before the northeast monsoon or the northeasterlies will commence probably this November and uh, we'll keep you updated in the coming days on this uh, possible new threat but let's hope and wait it will remain just a low pressure area but it looks like it may become a tropical depression but we are here to advise you in the coming days now let's look at our fast animation so you can see here the large circulation of uh, Nika or Nanka just already outside of power and it's uh, a tropical storm of 65 or 75 kph moving uh, faster towards Hainan and northern Vietnam. The monsoon weather is still affecting uh, Kalayan Island group and the western sections of Luzon while here comes the LPA 94W which is still uh, quite disorganized but is slowly consolidating. We are going to observe that in the coming days. So this is the area of clear weather. But tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday, bad weather or rainy weather will 
uh, commence across the Bicol region once again and Eastern Visayas. Okay, now here's the zoom in satellite animation. You can see the large collation of uh, uh, Nika or Nanka while here. Over the eastern uh, part of the Philippine Sea, we are keeping an eye on Tropical Disturbance 94W and LPA. You can see here currently organizing with thunderstorms here over the uh, southern part of the central Philippine Sea. And so Bicol region and eastern Visayas might have some good weather in the morning, but in the evening, it depends on the uh, circulation of this uh, LPA if it reaches the Bicol region and eastern Visayas rain weather rainy weather will start to be felt by tomorrow Tuesday evening so watch out for that and as we look at our uh, global uh, model tracks it's all the uh, showing the tracks of once Chan uh, former Chan Hong or TD Chan Hong and this is uh, uh, the new uh, system, Tropical Storm Nanka, will make landfall within the next 36 hours across Hainan and uh, within the next three days over Vietnam and these the remnants of Linfa. Uh, the uh, next system is now is not yet showing some model output but by tomorrow there might be some output already based on the forecast models. And here's the uh, two day to three day rain, pressure, and wind forecast from ECMWF, courtesy of windy.com. So by tomorrow morning, you can see here tropical storm Nanka approaching Hainan. And here's the uh, LPA becoming active to the east of uh, Samar. And on Wednesday, it will be over the northern coastline of summer making landfall over that area as an active LPA possibility it may become a tropical depression and on Wednesday afternoon to the evening it will traverse the Bicol region that's based on the ECMWF model so expect some moderate to heavy rainfall by Wednesday until Thursday morning and Thursday morning it could become a tropical storm up and exiting the Mindoro Island. So that's the uh, situation for the next three days on this LPA. Uh, so Friday it will uh, likely move out of the Philippine area responsibility once again. So let's hope and pray it will develop west of the Philippines, not over the Philippines, because it could bring some heavy rainfall across the Bicol region and southern Tagalog five provinces. So most likely it could be named Ophel, so watch out for that in the coming days. We will keep you updated. Once the system develops, we will be issuing a quick weather TV update here at our YouTube channel. So there you go, that's the latest for this Monday to Wednesday and we'll be, we will be back again in the next couple of days. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Paddy reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser, and thank you for watching our YouTube channel.